Geocache is a unique spin on a popular outdoor pastime called geocaching. Geocaching is a high-tech treasure hunting experience using GPS. Seekers use GPS coordinates to find hidden caches. Once they have found them, they post pictures and comments about their experience online. AgCache uses the geocaching network to allow visitors to experience the real treasure, agriculture. AgCache visitors will learn the importance and history of agriculture by visiting operating agricultural businesses and farms. Not only do AgCaches educate visitors, but they also bring traffic and business to the AgCache hosts. AgCache connects you to your customers at your farm face-to-face -face and allows you to build consumer relationships. This allows you to tap into a new audience and expose your business to new partners. And AgCache provides an added product line to your mix, bringing you business during slow parts of the year. Hosting an AgCache also gives you an opportunity to educate the public about agricultural production realities. Agritourism invites the public into your place of business and encourages curiosity. With that being said, AgCache hosts should be prepared for curious visitors and their questions. An agricultural operation can be a dangerous place. AgCache hosts are encouraged to invest in an insurance liability policy. This protects you from being responsible for accidents that could occur with visitors. Please visit www.agmrc.org for more information regarding agritourism liability. When it comes to choosing the location and disguise of your ag cache, the choice is all yours. However, there are a few rules that keep the experience fair, fun, and safe for everyone involved. All caches must be a tenth of a mile apart. This is mandated by the Geocache Organization. They hold various ongoing competitions, and if the density of caches is too high, it gives some geocachers an unfair advantage. Secondly, seekers are not permitted to visit after dark. This ensures the safety of all participants, especially on an agricultural operation where accidents can occur very easily, even in the daylight. Another requirement before you can invite visitors to your ag cache is to put up any appropriate signage. Many ag cache visitors may have never even seen an operating farm before and can be clueless to the unspoken rules. Use signs to remind them to close gates and keep off the grass, among other things. Also be sure to rope off any restricted areas that you would not be comfortable with visitors exploring. Lastly, ag caches cannot be located anywhere that charges a fee for entry. We want to make sure that ag cache is an opportunity that can be experienced by everyone, whether they brought their wallet with them or not. Finally, once you have completed this checklist and chosen the design and location of your ag cache, the next step is to contact the creators of ag cache, Chris and Jenny Sims. The Sims will follow up with a farm visit and give final approval. Once the Sims have cleared your site, you'll be the host of an ag cache and begin or expand your very own agritourism attraction. This production was brought to you by the Virginia Tech Coal Center.